Okay, so let's get into some Bravo news. Okay, and let's talk about Andy Cohen and this whole shakeup that allegedly is supposed to be going on at the Real Housewives of New Jersey, which I believe their finale is this Sunday. And I'm a binge watch because I definitely need to catch up because I hear the, the finale is explosive. So Andy Cohen acknowledges that the Real Housewives of New Jersey needs a shakeup and teases that changes are coming to the Bravo reality series. Now, this is according to People magazine. Well, according to People, and you know, People always tend to get the exclusives when it comes to anything Bravo related because they send everything to them. That's why. Now, on Monday, July 15, Andy Cohen confirmed during a live episode of Series X and Andy Cohen Live that Bravo was working on revamping the long-running reality show. When a fan called in to ask a question, they admitted that the franchise could use new energy after a controversial season. He said, I think it's time to do what happened. Um, the, the caller said this. They said, I think it's time to do what happened with New York. Bring, bring fresh faces in. Well, I don't know if that's a sort of good idea because New York is kind of boring bring some fresh faces in. And it's like they don't have Luann and all of them on there to interlink and mix with the New York cast. They got a whole bunch of new people and I just don't care, which is why I don't watch New York anymore. And then they have to give the other, the original OGs, the well, original, the OGs Ultimate Girls Trip, which came and went like a fart in the wind. I don't even remember it. So the fan added how new Real Housewives of New Jersey cast members Danielle Cabral and Rachel Fuda have brought a fresh and young dynamic to the group. And actually, no shade, but I actually like Danielle Cabral and Rachel Fuda, especially because Danielle did what she did to Jennifer Aiden. That was really what got me to really like her because, oh, no, bitch, you're not going to try me. You can sit up in there and be Teresa Minion and be the messy instigator all you want, but you push me, I'm going to knock you upside your head, and she did. <laughs> And I cackled when I saw that. I gagged and then I laughed. So they said it's just, there's all the negativity, they said, of the tenured Bravo celebrities. Set them free. Let them move on to the new. The housewives had Honcho agree that the fan sentiments and reveal that the network had planned in the works, had a plan. He said, we're going to figure something out, Cohen shared. We're going to figure something out. We are all on the same page about that. Now, season 14 of Real Housewives of New Jersey saw long-standing rifts continue to drive the housewives apart. The cast, as you know, consists of Teresa Judice, Melissa Gorga, Dolores Catania, Margaret Josephs, Jennifer Aiden, Jackie Goldschneider, Jen Fessler, Fuda, and Cabral. And here's the thing. Now, let's go through each one. So, in regards to Teresa Judice, I think Teresa and Melissa both have to go. I feel like if y'all going to come up here and y'all going to give us a new season or a new series or whatever, and y'all going to bring fresh blood in, I don't know. It can't be one or the other. To me, Teresa always acts like that she's above it all, that nothing can touch her, that her shit don't stink. She be up in there doing her little um, low-key crazy stuff and use the other people to do her dirty work, like Jen Aiden. And then you have Melissa and Joe on the other side, who I think like the fame a little too much, and they they can't make it work. So if Teresa and Melissa and all of them can't even get into a room and do a reunion, then at the mercy of the production, maybe y'all do need to shake it up and stop thinking like, oh, well, if we try something different, it's going to affect the ratings. It's a risk that, unfortunately, y'all going to have to take, especially when these Bravo celebrities think that they have the upper hand. And it's the production as well because y'all have done this. It, I feel like it started back when Teresa was in jail. How they paused the entire season for her to come back, which I understood at the time because that was a way to get... Um, that was going to be a big ratings situation. So that's why they did it. I felt like it was at the sake of the ratings because once Teresa gets out of jail and they can capture all that, that was going to be a big ratings booster. So that's what they're thinking of at that point. Dolores Catania is too Switzerland. I can't. Like, if she's going to keep doing the whole Switzerland thing, then you're not going... I'm not saying you need to pick a side, but you need to have some kind of a voice and a damn backbone. If you can't bring that to the show, you got to go. I actually like Margaret. Margaret's Bessie. <laughs> she actually encountered a friend of mine, um, Twisted D, who's a DJ. And I saw they were hanging out when at Fire Island. So... That's a, probably another reason why I like Margaret, too. Margaret lives for the gays. And Jennifer Aiden can't stand her. Jackie Goldschneider is a fucking flip-flopper. 
And Jim Fessler, you know, she's new to the show and I like her because she brings a whole new energy to the situation. So I'm living for that. But in regards to the whole Teresa Melissa thing, that shit is tired. It's old. I'm tired of them whenever they go to their whole situation. And I'm hearing from the finale that they all things come to a head and all this other stuff. So it said in June, people broke the news that there would not be a traditional reunion this season it's the first time in the show's history that a reunion has been scrapped and only the second time bravo has done that in the history of real housewives franchise saying a reunion is meant to have resolution and it's clear in this season finale that there is no path toward that type of setting this is what an insider familiar with this situation previously told people so the network is figuring out a different concept to wrap up the season now, after watching the season finale, Cohen teased that the episode was kind of like the reunion and the finale all in one during an episode of Watch Rappers Live with Andy Cohen and Judice in June. I feel like he's trying to bullshit y'all because he wants y'all to watch. So I'm not buying it at all. It's my, oh yeah, it feels like a reunion. And eh. No, it's the fact of the matter is y'all don't want to get these I force these motherfuckers to get into a goddamn room and resolve this. That's what y'all supposed to be doing. The whole point of the reunion, which in my opinion, or from what we know, was started by Nene Leaks during the Atlanta season when it was first called Watch What Happens. It's supposed to resolve the situation. So if you can't get people in a room together because they can't have a damn conversation without one person trying to act like, see what I did for you, or throw things in people's face, and it's a tit and tat, and one can't be, you know, because they too damn stubborn, then I feel like, you know what, it's time to just shake things up and start handing out pink slips. I don't care how big and how on top of the totem pole they are. So if Teresa and Melissa cannot come to a damn conclusion, they all need to be fired. And fig y'all need to figure out what needs to be done. And then the worst part is y'all try to add Gia to the show now to be a housewife. And look, just be, and I don't want to hear what people say, but well, she's just a kid. Y'all can't no, the minute you decide to assert yourself in grown people business, which has always been an issue that I've had with the Real Housewives of New Jersey, how Teresa treat her damn daughters like they her best friends when you're supposed to be a mother. And the girls be up in, and then Teresa, I mean, um, Gia asserting herself in grown people business and doing a whole pick inside. The minute you start doing that, then you fair game. It's the same thing I'm going to say about Baron Trump, which I hear that, you know what, allegedly, um, Melania is pissed at, at Donald because he's trying to insert the was in jail. How they paused the entire season for her to come back, which I understood at the time because that was a way to get, um, that was going to be a big ratings situation. So that's why they did it. I felt like it was at the sake of the ratings because once Teresa gets out of jail and they can capture all of that, that was going to be a big ratings booster. So that's what they're thinking of at that point. Dolores Katanga is too Switzerland. I can't, like, if she's going to keep doing the whole Switzerland thing, then you're not going, I'm not saying you need to pick a side, but you need to have some kind of a voice and a damn backbone. If you can't bring that to the show, you got to go. I actually like Margaret. Margaret's Bessie. <laughs> she actually encountered a friend of mine, um, Twisted D, who's a DJ. And I saw they were hanging out when at Fire Island. So... That's a, probably another reason why I like Margaret, too. Margaret lives for the gays. And Jennifer Aiden can't stand her. Jackie Cook Goldschneid is a fucking flip-flopper. And Jen Fessler, you know, she's new to the show, and I like her because she brings a, a whole new energy to the situation. So I'm living for that. But in regards to the whole Teresa Melissa thing, that shit is tired. It's old. I'm tired of them whenever they go to their whole situation. And I'm hearing from the finale that they all things come to a head and all this other stuff. So it said in June, people broke the news that there would not be a traditional reunion this season it's the first time in the show's history that a reunion has been scrapped and only the second time bravo has done that in the history of real housewives franchise saying a reunion is meant to have resolution and it's clear in this season finale that there is no path toward that type of setting this is what an insider familiar with this situation previously told people so the network is figuring out a different concept to wrap up the season now, after watching the season finale, Cohen teased that the episode was kind of like the reunion and the finale all in one during an episode of Watch Rappers Live with Andy Cohen and Judice in June. I feel like he's trying to bullshit y'all because he wants y'all to watch. So I'm not buying it at all. So I'm like, oh yeah, it feels like a reunion. And eh. No, it's the fact of the matter is y'all don't want to get these I force these motherfuckers to get into a goddamn room and resolve this. That's what y'all supposed to be doing. The whole point of the reunion, which in my opinion, or from what we know, was started by Nene Leaks during the Atlanta season 
when it was first called Watch What Happens, it's supposed to resolve the situation. So if you can't get people in a room together because they can't have a damn conversation without one person trying to act like, see what I did for you, or throw things in people's face, and it's a tit and tat, and one can't be, you know, because they're too damn stubborn, then I feel like, you know what, it's time to just shake things up and start handing out pink slips. I don't care how big and how on top of the totem pole they are. So if Teresa and Melissa cannot come to a damn conclusion, they all need to be fired. And y'all need to figure out what needs to be done. And then the worst part is y'all try to add Gia to the show now to be a housewife. And look, just be, and I don't want to hear what people say, but she's just a kid. Y'all can't no, the minute you decide to assert yourself in grown people business, which has always been an issue that I've had with the Real Housewives of New Jersey, how Teresa treat her damn daughters like they're her best friends when you're supposed to be a mother. And the girls be up in, and then Teresa, I mean, um, Gia asserting herself in grown people business and doing a whole pick inside. The minute you start doing that, then you fair game. It's the same thing I'm going to say about Baron Trump, which I hear that, you know what, allegedly, um, Melania is pissed at, at Donald because he's trying to insert Baron into the whole political thing, which she is against. And then I saw recently Don Jr. got his daughter doing, you know, speeches and things of that nature, defending, going windmilling for her grandfather. You better fight for that, um, that trust fund whatever's left of it so look i always said like you know what so at the end of the day to wrap this story up i do agree with them that it is time to shake up this show it is time to, you know for a change if the people are not willing to come aboard and compromise i do love the idea of like um danielle cabral and fuda rachel fuda being a part of the show. I do like that they found a way to interject young blood into the show with these women because they're like, oh, we could be just as feisty as the rest of them. I don't know if it if it'll work for all the other shows because quite as kept. It's not just New Jersey that needs a shake up. A lot of these shows need a damn shake up. And I feel like y'all probably need to follow the same formula of the other shows. Like you can have these OGs and stuff up in the egg, but y'all need to interject some fresh blood. Don't make them too young. Get them in like they late. 30s like they're about to cross over into the 40s because it's like oh they're young enough to know but old enough to, well old enough to know but young enough to still dip and do it and they can you know go head to head with these girls but it's probably hard to find like some good some firecracker types to be on the show so what do y'all think it is y'all think it's time for the real house Arms of new jersey to shake things up over there at bravo oh, and also if there's any other shows from the franchise that y'all feel need a shake up as well let me know in the comments down below.